Most of us would be forgiven for never having heard of a Holstein, a Montbelliard or a Swedish Red, but for dairy farmers breeding is a serious business. We're here in Cumbria with breeding expert Marco Winters and farm owner Richard Park. Marco, why is breeding so important? Well, essentially, the, the breeding is important because that's the foundation that farmers have to work from. So farmers are looking for different characteristics, different breed types, to really get the, the animals that he can work with that are good for the, the health and welfare of the animals and, and good for the farmer. How important is it to have a, a, a mixture of different breeds? Well, for me, it's, it's quite important. Um, the sort of farming I do here, um, I've, I've actually got a cow now that uh, suits the system very well. They, they stay healthy. I can get them back in calf every year so they, they, can, uh, they can carry on producing milk. And Marco, what do you think of Richard's choices here? I think it's, it's obviously every dairy farmer is unique and it's very interesting to see how much time he's actually spent on developing the breeding program for his own herd. And I think that's really what most farmers will do. Just tell me a little bit about the different breeds that are found in Britain. In Britain we really do see a variety of breeds and it, it varies because there's a, a lot of different systems in the UK and for that we do need different breeds to suit those systems. So in Britain when we go to Scotland it's a different animal than when we go to Cornwall for example because of the, the grazing systems etc. So the breeds we've got is, is black and white, it's the Holstein Friesian which is the dominant breed with about 90% of the UK and alongside it we've then got the Ayrshire breeds, the Shorthorn and the Channel Island breeds, the Jerseys and Guernseys uh, for their cheese making abilities etc. So Richard, just tell me a little bit about the different characteristics of these cows. Well, here we've got the, uh, this is the Montbelliard cross, so as you can see she's a, a little bit heavier, she carries a little bit more, uh, a little bit more flesh, uh, she's what we call quite a strong cow, her, her bones are, are a little bit thicker. The red cow over there, if yeah. we can see her, she's a, she's a Swedish red, so she's been bred um, with um, the health and fitness traits, so she's a She's a, a really good cow to get back in calf. She's a cow that doesn't uh, get uh, diseases and easy as perhaps some of the others might do. How important is it for farmers to have a breeding program in place? I think it's critical, really, because it's the foundation to start working from. If we can get the genetics right and the breeding program to work with right, then it means that the animal is going to be healthy and that the health and welfare is going to be looked after and ultimately also the farmer, therefore, will be happy. Obviously, something like cloning is quite a hot topic. Um, what sort of stage is, is the, the dairy industry at with that? Cloning, in essence, is still very much uh, in development stages. In the UK, it's not allowed to be cloning, and therefore the dairy industry in the UK is actually not involved in, in cloning at all. Mark, could you just tell me a little bit about the research that's going on at the moment? In terms of research, we're really doing a, a lot of different things at the moment. We're looking at the traditional traits, and we're looking at data analysis to really understand a lot better on disease resistance, for example, what's going on there. But also, at the same time, we're also looking at what the, what's going on in human genetics work and trying to capture that and, and interpret that for the dairy industry as a whole. So could that help limit certain diseases? Absolutely. I think it's, it's a matter of time only for us to find the, the right genes that are causing different diseases. And then by identifying them, we then can screen for them and, and essentially breed animals that are resistant to diseases. Marco, how have breeding priorities changed over the years? We are really changing our emphasis in the, in the breeding industry, whereas perhaps traditionally 20 years ago it was really focused on output and looking to increase the milk yield. Over the last 15 to 20 years we've really moved away from that and we're really focusing on health and fitness traits now. And Richard, this is obviously something that's, that's very interesting to you. Um, how exciting do you find it all? Oh, it's absolutely fascinating, you know, because I'm with the cows all the time and I'm seeing, you know, I see the growing from little calves and then, uh, and then coming through and into the milking parlour and uh, you know, just seeing, seeing how they do. I mean, it, it, it's really good, but it is a very long-term process, it takes a long time, and, uh, but no, I mean, the results are very rewarding.